Let's talk about creating plots and checking your work and integration uh, with Desmos, which is a pretty convenient tool to rapidly get going for um, simple things, right? For more advanced analysis, you're really going to be in professional documentation. You're really going to want to be using Python. So the first thing I've done is I've defined a function called u of t, the unit step function, which is uh, 0.5 times sine. And sine gives you minus 1 for time less than 0 and plus 1 for time greater than 0. And so I add a 1 and then scale it. And then you can see um, at time 0 I go up. Now because it's discontinuous, Desmos won't show you everything, right? But you can see uh, that it is a step function. Then you can rapidly define a ramp function, r of t, t times ut, all right? Now, let's just do a simple integration, right, where we have the lower limit of minus 4 and the plus limit of 7, upper limit of plus 7, and this is off of one of the homeworks, right? Now, yeah, uh, if I were to do this by hand, I would uh, break it up, and I can put a link to doing this by hand in the description, but uh, it'll pop up six, right? You just, for that DT, you have to enclose the whole thing in parentheses, although um, I've seen mathematical notation where you don't have to put that parentheses and you're integrating over everything. Now, let's actually, I've said that you can get a ramp from integrating a step. So now let, um, Desmos can do that as well. So I'm gonna insert an integral, right? Um, For this case, I'm going to just start at minus 1, but I want to go up to t, right? And then um, I'm going to use ramp. Now, the problem is, excuse me, ramp. I can't use t because that's in my limit. I have to use a dummy variable, but um, Desmos doesn't seem to like using tau. Um, I know I use capital T for, uh, you know, a time shift. So just as a hack, I'm just going to say TT is my dummy variable. And then I'm going to integrate over that. And then I'm going to give it a, a function title, just function one equals. should work. Well, it's giving me, okay. I, it, I guess it's confused here. I'm just going to use capital T like I've done in the past. There we go. So now you can see what's going on here, right? And I can delay it. It can take a little bit to calculate. So you can just see this function, you know, it's delayed. Um, another thing you can do is uh, kind of those composite functions, right? Uh, let's see, I want to enforce ut times 1 minus 
t to the minus t see we're getting our exponential approach and then if I had a if this was an RC circuit and I had a square wave input I could subtract it and I want it to stay high for 5 tau in this case tau is 1 so I delay the step by 5 That's pretty much how we can even do a final one where it just equals u t plus u t minus one plus u t minus two, right? So we can see that step up. And then we can start stepping down. Oh, I guess it's as far as we need to go. Again, these discontinuities are just, it's kind of the way it's, uh, Desmos works. Oh, no, I guess I, I could add another one to, to bring it down. But um, that's really, you can put everything in ramps and steps. Delta's a bit hard. You, I can kind of get away with a delta is it just doesn't plot right but I can say a delta equals oops a step u t I'm going to say a minus u t minus 1 divided by a okay we can add a slider and I will turn off everybody else now this of course is an approximation to a step function and you might think that's a pretty lousy uh, excuse me delta function it's one unit wide and one unit high. That's far away from infinity, right? But it all depends on the system I was going to use this delta function to test, right? But if I um, had a tau of a system that was 20, right? Or um, then five tau is 100. And so a width of one compared to 100 will look infinitely thin. So let's go from one, oops. Actually one to 10 is fine. Gets the point across. All right. And you can see it come down and go up. And that's all just an approximation of a delta function. Delta functions are extremely hard to plot and that's why we use the arrow, the scaled arrow, if you will. Um, but the big point here is for this delta function, the area is always one. So, enjoy. <laughs>